one, it's Pocket. Long time no see. I know I haven't been in front of the camera for a while, so <laughs> it's been a long time since we've done it this way. Um, <laughs> but uh, nonetheless, I'm here to make a video about quite a few things. I have been on a video hiatus because I've been busy with exams basically and yeah, it's just been eating up all my time, but now those are all over, thank god. So I'm here to make videos and to interact with you guys once more. So let's get on with these updates. Okay, first off, something really, really exciting um, that I've decided to share with you now since it's been on my mind for quite a long time I've been thinking about it. And that is that I want to bring another one of my characters into doll form. And um, let me just show you the head so you know who we're talking about. We're talking about this head. Now you've seen her probably in my floating head collection if you've watched that video. And it is the uh, 2012 Jury uh, event head, but Jury spelt with a Y, not with an I. So this one is, in my opinion, kind of like a ghost head in the uh, event head series because it, get, it gets mixed up with so many different event heads. It is like just not even funny. <laughs> in this one, because its name is Jury, you would think, um, Jury 2012, you would think it's the one with the um, funny eye holes and the, um, the cutie wootsy mouth, the one that Lutz also had a long time ago. You'd think it's that one, but it isn't, it's this one. Um, because it's spelled with a Y, but <laughs> a, lot of, a lot of people don't know that, they just spell them both with an I, but it's, that's like the only difference. I don't know, I don't know why CP or Fairyland didn't come up with a name that could maybe set it apart a bit more from the rest, but it's a jury. Another head this one also gets mixed up with is the um, Nanori B, which is actually the Dreaming Karsh. And it looks kind of similar to this one, it's just they have very different ears and actually all different face in general, but it gets mixed up with this one because they're sort of similar. And I've actually face upped a um, Nanori B Karsh uh, just recently and I'm currently <laughs> still in the process of editing the pictures because oh my gosh did I have fun painting that head, I can tell you. It was a really, a really cool head to paint. It was a commission and the owner had modded open the eyes. So to make it look like it wasn't like sleeping, but it was like half opened eyes and gosh, it was so much fun to paint. <laughs> so look forward to those pictures. I'll be updating them. I'll be uploading them on Flickr soon. Um, but I digress. So this head is mixed up <laughs> a lot. Um, and I want to bring this girl to life and her name is uh, Marion. And she is one of the big characters in my story and um, she's uh, the best friend of Andromeda and um, both of them together they're like both of them and Lun I'd say are like the trio of main characters in the story so Lun being the sister of Andromeda <laughs> in case you've forgotten I know I don't talk about my doll's stories very often maybe I should um, so Marion is a very big part of the story and I want to bring her to life and I want to get her a Feeble 60 Moeline body um, because I really like the way this girl sits on the, or fits on the Feeble 60 body, normal one. And I have Lynn's body here just to show you. Right. No. She just lost both of her shoes. So here's Lynn's body, you can see she's still in her old outfit. I haven't changed the outfit because I just think it's so adorable. And this is what Marion looks like on the Feeble 60 body. Not too bad, eh? I think it looks pretty good. And I want to get her a Feeble 60 Moaline body because as much as I love the Feeble 60 body as it is, I really think that the Moorline body has a few changes in it that makes it a better, an even better body to handle and to pose than the Feeble 60 A-line already is. So I really want to give that body a shot. I know it's a bit smaller than this one, so if the head looks too small on the Feeble 60 Moorline body, then Lun will probably go on the Feeble 60 Moorline body and Marion will keep this body. Which is not a problem because Lun's character is um, supposed to be quite petite. So it would actually fit her more to have a Moaline body, excuse me, and um, also the head, Lynn's head, it's tiny, it really is. Compared to Marion's head, Lynn's head is very small, as you can see. It's like, yeah. I guess all the older heads were kind of smaller in size and proportion than the newer event heads. 
yeah, so that's the plan, getting a Feeble 60 Moaline body for Miss Marion here. <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know when I can make it happen. I hope that I will have the funds by the end of this month. If not, I will have the funds by the end of ne next month. So that should help. Also, I sold my mini fee event head, the new family event head. I just wasn't doing anything with it. I gave it a really nice face up and I put it on the marketplace and someone really nice came by and uh, <laughs> bought the head on layaway. So it's gone and sold, which is nice. Um, yeah, I don't know. My goal is, in my doll family, my goal is to reduce all my floating heads to just like one or two that I want to keep for fun and not necessarily have to switch bodies with other floating heads that I consider to be characters. So that's why I really want to get Marion a body soon. And eventually I'll want to get this guy a body as well because he's also quite a quite an important character. This is the Nanori 2014 event head. And I got this one for really cheap on the marketplace as well. So now these two, they're not as popular, I have the feeling. But they go together in my story, and they are together in my story, so... I want to get him a body, definitely. I have no idea, though, when Fairyland will re-release the Feeble 60 males. <laughs> Could be quite a long time, but I'm not rushing with him. With her, I really want to get her a body soon, but with him, it's just... It's cool. I can wait. Anarchia. Anarchia got a new wig recently. And it's a custom wig that I commissioned from Jane C. Entangled. And I bought the fiber and I gave it to her and I said, please make me a wig like this. And she made me a wig like this. And <laughs> it looks so awesome. I want Anarchia to have a like disheveled hair kind of look. And I really love this alpaca. Oh my gosh. This alpaca is so soft. It is so super white. And it is just amazing. I love it. And it's nice and soft and fluffy. And it looks so natural. Oh, I'm in love with this. I'm in love with this wig. If you follow me on Instagram, you may have already seen these eyes. I update there every once and again. Uh, just random pictures of what I'm doing. Sometimes also cats. I like to post cats. <laughs> but um, I uh, got these eyes off Etsy and they were really cheap. And I like them, but they're very blue. <laughs> so I'm really looking forward to uh, Anarchia's new Mako eyes to come in, which um, they should soon. They've already shipped, so I'm really excited for those. They will really complete her, I think. And I do definitely have to sew her an outfit. <laughs> she doesn't have anything to wear. She doesn't have any shoes. <sighs> <laughs> but I'm in the process of getting my act together and Gonna, I'm gonna sew her an outfit. I'm gonna make her one. That's my set goal for the time I have off now. I definitely want to make her an outfit. Yeah, and speaking of wigs. So here's Luna in the wig. And Jane C. Entangled, what she did was she cut it and straightened it and conditioned it and um, made it look nice again because it was really difficult to handle also because uh, whenever I touched it, it would like frizz up immediately. And now just look how nice and slick it is. Before it was like this long and it always frizzed up when I handled it and it was just a pain also because whenever I wanted to sit down the doll as she would sit on her hair it's like mm. <laughs> a little tricky to handle before I go I just wanted to ask you guys um, what else do you want to see content wise I have a bit of free time now after exams so I wanted to make a few more videos what do you guys want to see do you want to see me uh, doing like tips and tricks on something or do you want to have like an advice video like I don't know, advice when ordering from so-and-so or whatever. Do you guys want to see some more reviews? Um, do you guys want to see something about my characters? Do you want to see me um, talking about their stories a little more? Or you want to see some artwork? I don't know. <laughs> I just wanted to maybe um, call out to you guys and um, just hear from you guys what you want to what you want to see from me in the future because I can't always do update videos. I know they're nice and they're addicting somehow because you can always interact, but I also want to do something content-wise. I just don't want to be a vlog-only channel. I want to do something content-wise. So, give me some ideas. What would you like to see? If you have any questions, I could also do a Q&A video. Whatever you guys want. So I'm open for ideas. Just throw them here. Throw them at my face. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope it wasn't too annoying or too long. And um, I hope you guys are doing well. 
and have a happy jolly day, guys. I'll see you soon. Bye. Ta-ta. Okay, I'll stop.